Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Lithography machines have always been a focus of attention, hailed as the crown jewel of the semiconductor industry. Crucially, they represent the biggest weakness of China's semiconductor industry for many years, with China heavily reliant on imports while the U.S. has sought various ways to restrict them. However, recently, media outlets such as Nikkei Asia have observed that mainland China is likely to become the third country in the world, after the Netherlands and Japan, capable of manufacturing a complete set of lithography machines domestically. But some foreign media outlets have directly stated, this seems to be a misconception. It is well known that lithography machines were born alongside the development of the semiconductor industry. Initially, the leading manufacturers of lithography machines were American companies. Later, Japanese companies surpassed them and declined, and then Dutch companies overtook Japanese companies. Currently, only three countries in the world can produce lithography machines for chip manufacturing, the Netherlands, Japan, and China. Japan's Nikon and Canon were once hailed as the lithography machine duo, but after being surpassed by the Dutch company ASML, although they still sell lithography machines, their market share is small, and they mostly sell low to mid-range lithography machines lagging far behind ASML. ASML of the Netherlands is currently the global leader in lithography machines, essentially monopolizing about 90% of the global market. It holds a unique monopoly on the most advanced EUV lithography machines, relying on ASML for processes below 7 nanometers. Even for the less advanced DUV lithography machines, ASML holds 96.99% and 80% market share in RFI and RF, respectively. Besides the Netherlands and Japan, mainland China can also manufacture lithography machines, such as Shanghai Microelectronics. However, the process technology of domestically produced lithography machines in China is still relatively low, so it has to purchase a large number of foreign lithography machines, especially those from ASML of the Netherlands. This is precisely why the United States can use advanced lithography machines as a tool for sanctions preventing China from purchasing advanced EUV lithography machines and even restricting advanced immersion DUV lithography machines, thus impacting the development of China's advanced chip manufacturing. Furthermore, a few years ago, the CEO of JSR, a Japanese photoresist giant, stated in an interview that mainland China does not have the capability to manufacture EUV lithography machines. Although Japan has been surpassed by ASML of the Netherlands in lithography machines, it excels in photoresist, a key material used in semiconductor manufacturing, holding a 90% global market share. Photoresist is an essential material in chip manufacturing. However, just three years later, Japan changed its tune. Japanese media believe that mainland China is likely to become the third country in the world, after the Netherlands and Japan, capable of manufacturing a complete set of lithography machines, due to breakthroughs in many key lithography technologies. For a long time, people have compared ASMLs most advanced EUV lithography machines with China's domestically produced lithography machines, emphasizing the superiority of ASML and the vast gap between them. 
However, this has overlooked the true state of China's lithography machine industry. Shanghai Microelectronics in China has long been able to produce RF lithography machines and is reportedly accelerating its development of RFI immersion lithography machines. This is the traditional development path for lithography machines, from I-line to KRF to dry RF, to immersion RFI, and then to EUV. According to relevant information, domestically produced immersion RFI lithography machines should be available soon. Meanwhile, EUV lithography is also progressing concurrently. As you can see from the relevant information, many Chinese institutions have already made breakthroughs in several EUV-related lithography machine technologies. Besides traditional lithography machines, China is also advancing other lithography machine routes and has achieved good progress. For example, in nanoimprint lithography, the first semiconductor-grade nanoimprint lithography equipment independently designed and developed by the domestic company, Print Technology, has been delivered. In addition, regarding electron beam lithography, a research team at Zhejiang University, has launched China's first domestically produced commercial electron beam lithography machine, named Shiji, with a precision of 0.6 nanometers and a line width of 8 nanometers. It uses an electron beam to write circuits and has entered application testing. The parallel breakthroughs achieved by so many lithography machine routes reflect the rapid development of the entire lithography machine industry chain in China. The facts also fully demonstrate that although China's domestically produced lithography machines are not yet very advanced, the localization rate is as high as 83% because the entire category of the lithography machine industry chain in China is nearly complete. With rapid development, China will be able to independently manufacture lithography machines. It is precisely based on this situation that some foreign media have directly stated that the Japanese media seems to have made a mistake. Mainland China is not just likely to become the third country in the world capable of manufacturing a complete lithography machine, but rather the only country in the world capable of doing so. This is because the Netherlands and Japan cannot independently produce lithography machines. They rely on external sources for many key technologies. For example, Lithography machine giant ASML's core light source technology comes from the American company Sima, and its core high-precision lenses come from the German company Zeiss.